welcome back to my little channel. Okay, I'm going to talk a little bit about cancel culture and the stupidity thereof. And to do so, I'm going to use one of the stories I found on campusreform.org. What story is that? Well, Cappy the mascot is being cancelled, or is up for being cancelled, because of the connection to history implied by his name. What's the name of Cappy the mascot? Well, Cappy the mascot is called Cappy the Crusader. And obviously, Crusader is a very bad word, because apparently we only know of one crusade ever to happen. Now, there were several of them, and they were all against Muslims, therefore crusades are against Muslims. Not that there were ever any crusades that weren't against Muslims. It's really interesting, because they're going to remove a mascot based on its name, because, as you can see, the mascot looks like a Roman legionnaire. And um, I'll, I'll tell you one thing, they were not part of the crusade against Islam. So the word crusade is a problem. Uh, or why don't you just change his name then? Uh, <laughs> Capi the Cucked Mascot? I don't know. I don't know. It's stupid. I really can't imagine how daft a person needs to be to remove a mascot because of a word. But then again, I want to take the time to talk about the Washington Redskins, who won't be called Redskins anymore because apparently that word is now problematic too. And just because they don't want to use the word, they're also removing the emblem of the chief. Which is funny because it was designed by an Indian who is now being kind of put aside. See, this is, this is where cancel culture has brought us, or at least America. We are now cancelling the one we are claiming to protect. Now, don't get me wrong, Capi the Crusader is obviously uh, a Latin person, he's Roman. Um, but yeah, he'll be good enough as white, who cares? But a Redskin, I mean, there were Indians who were actually proud of the fact that there was a team named after them. They saw it as an accomplishment or rather something. I mean, you would call your team because it's something brave. I mean, there are plenty of teams called the Pumas, but there isn't a team called Mice. When you talk about, okay, I'm a supporter of this team because they are rugged and tough and blah, 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 blah. There isn't a team out there that's going to say, oh, yeah, but well, I, I support that team because they are dainty and, and, and friendly and nice. That doesn't work. People want to have strong imagery uh, of, of rugged toughness. The Redskins was that. Capri Crusader, even though his face is silly in the image, was that. <laughs> but you're not allowed to have these things because obviously there's something wrong with the world if you think that these things are a good thing. So now we see the cancelling of Capi the Crusader because of the word Crusader. We see the cancelling of the Redskins because we don't want you to think positively and strongly about Native Americans. But it gets worse because, yeah, we're also going to ban or remove Aunt Jemima. I mean, she was a slave and then she was a free person and she started a business and she became a millionaire. She was a black woman, but obviously you're not to celebrate her. No, no, she's a symbol of slavery. We need to rub her out. She needs to be disappeared from history because the left says so. I don't get it. I mean, what's wrong with these people? What, what makes their minds so mushed that they cannot tell the difference between admiration in a way and being ridiculed i'm pretty sure no one was ridiculing the redskins because they were called redskins i'm pretty sure 
no one was ridiculing Capi the Crusader for being a crusader. I mean, they might ridicule him for his face, but not like that. No one was ridiculing Aunt Jemima, nor Uncle Ben's. You see, they're not in it to let you realize that, that people of color and minorities have a place in society too. I mean, you might recognize that Redskins have a place in society. You might think that Aunt Jemima is something that has a place in society and she embodies something you enjoy, which is good food. No, no. They see it as you enjoying something that you shouldn't because it's unfair to all of those people that do not enjoy it. In effect, them. Not black people in general. Of course not. Who cares about them? No, no. You have to placate to these idiots. It's your culture they want to destroy because it's you they want to destroy. Anyway, this is my little rant. Like, share, subscribe if you feel so inclined. Criticism, as always, is more than welcome. I do like to hear what you think. And I hope to see you all next time.